Hello YouTube, I'm back again. And today I have an update with a product review. Okay, I took advantage of the situation with my other inverter to look at the possibility of upgrading my system. Okay, and I looked at um, uh, quite a few inverters to, you know, to see if I still wanted to stay with Ames, which is a great inverter, which is a great product, and so forth. Um, it just said, you know, hey, I was well. If this was an opportunity that I can upgrade, then why not take it? So I looked at Outback, I looked at Ames, I looked at some other inverters, but I finally decided on um, the MagnaSign from Magnum Energy. Okay, this model is an MS4024 uh, PAE. Again, that's MS4024 PAE. This right here, it's a 24 volt, 4000 watt uh, pure sign inverter. Okay. It has the, uh, it's also an inverter charger, okay, meaning it can take power from your utility or a generator and convert that AC power into DC to charge your batteries, okay. It also has pass-through capability where it will take that incoming AC, uh, AC power and backfeed it to a sub-panel um, and energize the circuits in your, in your sub-panel, okay. It has an automatic transfer capability where it will sense um, a, the voltage on the line, and if the voltage drops um, below a pre-programmed level, uh, in my case it's 80 volts, if it doesn't see at least 80 volts on the line, it's going to consider the line dead. And at that point, what it will do, it will automatically go into what they call inverting, okay? And the battery, the power will, will then come from the battery bank. So it has that automatic transfer switch capability. Now, this unit is heavy. It is bulky, okay? I think it's about 60 pounds. I had to mount it to the, uh, the studs in the wall with some steel brackets uh, just to kind of make sure it's all, it stays nice and sturdy, okay? Again, since it's 4,000 watts, uh, we're dealing with a lot of power. It can generate, as far as AC output, uh, 240 volts, okay, true 240 volts, meaning we have two hot legs at uh, 120 volts apiece. One uh, hot leg is 180 degrees um, out of phase with the other one. That is not dual phase, it's split phase, it's single phase, but split phase, okay, that is true 240. Um, I didn't know that, um, but again, I'm not an electrician, but, you know, give me a book and I can learn anything. Um, what I was doing with my previous setup, I was just simply uh, stacking the outlets on my inverter, stacking the outlets, and I was, by stacking my outlets, I was feeding 120 uh, to two legs, okay? So it didn't give me 240 volts per se, but it did give me enough to back feed into my panel and my interlock switch and so forth to energize both branches, okay? I didn't really need a actual 240 volts because I don't have any 240 outside of my AC and my water heater to power up, in, in, you know, in a stove, and I'm not going to do that. Uh, but anyway, this thing right here can take 120, in, 120 or 240 inputs uh, to either char help charge a battery or backfeed or pass through to your sub panel, and it will it will output 120 or 240 back um, uh, to backfeed uh, through your sub panel. So this right here, it's a beefy system. It's a monster. Okay, it's a monster. Um, it's not the cheapest uh, inverter on the market by far. It's not the cheapest, but I do believe it's probably one of the best. Okay. Now, taking a look at the inverter itself, when you get the inverter, you do, depending on where you buy it from, um, I bought it mine from Wholesale Solar and um, you know they got a special where it actually comes with the remote and so forth. But if you get the unit itself, I believe it does come with a battery temperature sensor, okay, a battery temperature sensor. And that battery temperature sensor I have uh, plugged onto my battery, to the negative side on my battery here. And it goes and it plugs into the back, okay, of my, of the inverter itself, okay, into one of the, uh, the slots back here. Okay, now, one of the things looking at this system here, you don't have to be an electrician to hook it up, but you have to think like one, okay? It, this particular inverter takes a little more skill um, and know-how about electricity than with the average inverter. This system, this particular inverter is not, as you can see, it does not have outlets. It is designed to tie into your home, okay, or through some, uh, into your home through a sub-panel or something like that. Okay, now these two um, 
receptacles here are these two um, fixtures are, are you know one is input and this is output okay you have to I had to wire on the inside of the inverter I had to wire them for 240 volts both of them okay this right here is 12 gauge wiring and they're both uh, basically 240 volt wiring in a three wire system meaning you have you have two hots which are black and red a white which is neutral and a ground okay this is heavy copper 12 gauge wiring this right here is some other heavy uh, heavy gauge 420 uh, volt wiring okay um, in the back right there you can see the equipment ground okay uh, block right there and on the inside it's also system grounded okay uh, when you initially get the system, you don't get in. There's no indications except for this this flashing LED uh, that lets you know if anything's going on. And there's a button that, or right beside that LED, that allows that switches it on the unit on and off. Now, this particular inverter has an incredible amount of capability. Okay, there's a lot of parameter. It's a smart inverter charger. Okay. And uh, in order to see those parameters and change those parameters, you have to purchase one of these. Okay, this is a remote control unit. It is an ME-ARC model. Okay, it's a remote control unit for the uh, for the MS series inverter chargers from Magnum Energy. Okay, this thing right here gives you a lot of capability. Okay, a lot of capability. It can tell you the DC, uh, give you DC metrics, meaning DC numbers like, you know, your volts, amps coming in and out and so forth. It can also tell you the AC uh, metrics, meaning your AC amps and volts coming in and your AC amps and volts going out. Um, it also allows, this particular uh, unit also allows you the capability of... Uh, you know, looking at the temperature, uh, like for instance, I can look at the battery temp, the battery uh, temperature through the sensor is 82 degrees, uh, transformer temperature, uh, transistor temperature, etc. I can go here to meters, okay, and as you can see, the uh, I can have uh, um, DC meters, AC meters, and so forth. Let's say, for instance, AC meters. This is the my volts, uh, output volts. Um, let's see, go with select it. Uh, the, the hertz, okay, the, um, the cycles basically, the hertz as far as for AC electricity, uh, the loads that I've got on the system, uh, input amps, and so forth. Okay, this thing here gives you a lot of capability, okay, and this is it, it, um, it doesn't come with the unit, you have to buy this separately. When you buy it, what you do is you get a mounting bracket, okay, and you get a face plate and so forth, the unit itself that mounts onto the bracket. You also get a 50 foot cable, okay. Why do you get a 50 foot cable? Because ideally, this is mounted somewhere on the inside of the house, it is a remote control unit, so ideally, you know, you mount it somewhere in a house. But I kind of wanted to mount it. I wanted to mount it with my with my other uh, equipment to kind of keep everything in one place. Um, these buttons right here give me the ability to turn on the inverter and the charger. Okay, uh, right now it's flashing because the charger is in a standby mode. Now, I have three sources of charging power for my batteries: the inverter. I have and two charge controllers. Okay. Now, obviously, during the day, I want my charge controllers to charge the batteries. So, what happens is with this particular unit, it also gives me the ability to set the time. Okay, of when my I want my in my uh, inverter to you know keep the batteries in float mode and so forth. So I can set the time frame. I've got it set right now so that at at 6 a.m. this charging capability goes into standby mode. And it stays in standby mode until about you know seven, six or seven p.m. Okay, when it gets dark. Okay, so during the day I maximize charging capability. So during the day my charge controllers can charge the batteries, and during the night my inverter can charge the batteries. Now, during the day my batteries are fully charged. Really, in reality, I only need this charge controller to keep them in a float mode. Okay, this charge controller, which is connected to this particular uh, switch. Well, I just basically turn it over to grid tie, and as you can see right here, that excess power is going is supplementing the power in my home. 
so I'm not losing anything. Now, again, the idea behind my system is I needed a backup system. Okay, saving power and saving energy and um, and you know with the excess power through the grid tie, that's all well and good. But again, this is my system is designed to be a backup system. Now, with this particular inverter charger, it gives me the ability to have that automatic backup capability. Okay, again, this inverter charger is not the cheapest on the market okay but it is one of the best I believe okay um, and if you get one of these uh, inverter chargers I would highly recommend that you also consider getting the remote with it as well okay um, again I've only given you just the uh, a, a little bit of the cape functions features and capabilities of this particular system um, the, again, I just want to highlight the the uh, what you know why I got this particular inverter, why I chose it. The Outback inverters are awesome. Okay, the Ames inverters are also awesome. Okay, but this particular inverter, it's uh, obviously UL listed. It's I mean certified, um, and also it gives me the ability to generate a true 240 uh, volt uh, signal if I wanted to. Um, it, it, it has pass-through capability, automatic uh, transfer capabilities. Um, I mean, I can I, believe it or not, believe it or not, I can even power this thing uh, with a modified sine wave inverter uh, and so forth. Yay, I get a serious hum, uh, but it, you know, with uh, with a modified sine wave inverter generator, I can still power this thing to charge my batteries in bulk. Okay. Um, also. I can limit the amount of amps coming into the system to, to charge the battery just so that I don't have a um, you know overcurrent situation. Now to, to to wire this thing up, okay, I had to go over here and I had to take out my auxiliary receptacles and I actually had to put in a, a an actual 30 amp AC circuit breaker, okay, an actual 30 amp AC circuit breaker. So I have overcurrent protection here at the circuit breaker. There's also overcurrent protection in the inverter. On the bottom side of the inverter are um, some circuit breakers where I, that I can actually reset. Now, again, my transfer switch is acting as a sub panel. Okay, so it's getting power um, from the from this particular output here, this AC output, and it also has overcurrent protection. And obviously, there's overcurrent protection in the main panel itself. Okay, so you know the system I've got it set up to where it is fairly it's uh, fairly safe. Okay, now and I do want to reiterate, you do not need to be an electrician. Okay, to uh, to work with this thing, but you have to you know have the knowledge. Okay, you 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 bas you got to think like an electrician. The remote control unit um, it comes with the cable and it plugs in simply um, to the back here. Okay. And, you know, you can't go wrong because, you know, there's a blue label here and you, you plug in the blue wire. OK, yellow label, you plug into the to the uh, the yellow, the yellow label here indicates you plug into this particular port. OK. Now, again, looking at the system as a whole, um, I've had it for some weeks. Um, I do thank everybody that, uh, you know, that all the well wishers as far as with my other system. Um, I just want you to know the system was under, I mean, the inverter, the lab, my other inverter was under warranty. I, I was only out of power for, not, well, actually, I wasn't out of power at all because I have a backup. I have a modified sine wave backup. And it, you know, it worked out until it came back. I was only out of that inverter for maybe a week or for maybe two weeks. Um, but, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, but anyway, I do thank everybody for the well wishes and everything. Um, you know, it was a sacrifice, but it wasn't a total, it wasn't a hard sacrifice because it, again, the unit was under warranty. And, you know, I definitely wanted folks to, uh, you know, get the right information. Okay. This MagnaSign inverter is beefy. It is a beast. Okay. But um, it really brings uh, my system up to an entirely different uh, new level. Uh, with total with uh, with automatic backup capability, the ability to bulk charge my batteries from my from my homemade propane generator, which um, you know I've already tested this thing and it will accept a modified sine wave. 
Um, I contacted a manufacturer of the Magnum, uh, this, this particular inverter, and I asked the question, hey, if I plugged in a, you know, uh, some type of generator uh, with a modified sine wave, will this thing, you know, blow up on me or something? And they assured me, no, this thing right here, it will not blow up. It just, the, there's smarts in this particular uh, inverter that says it will either accept the power, okay, the AC power that you, that's put in, or it won't. It's either it will accept it or it won't, okay? And when it accepts it, what happens is this particular indicator will let me know, hey, you know, it's a, it's um, it does accept it, and you know, and it will start charging the batteries. I have tested that theory already, and I what I did was I just simply plugged in that particular modified sine wave inverter, uh, plugged in you know through that particular power cable, okay, plugged it into um, the, you know this inverter, and it does work. So in the event of a Power ex extended power outage with cloudy days. Um, you know, all I have to have is my propane generator that they, that I built, and this particular inverter, and I can you know charge in bulk charge my batteries with no problem. Okay, again, uh, thanks a lot, YouTube, and you know, hope this helps somebody uh, you know with their decisions and so forth. Um, but anyway, it's been it's 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 fun. I really truly enjoy it, and you know, hopefully you got something out of it. Take care, YouTube.